What's going on YouTube? This is Ryan with South Jersey Yak Fishing. It is early November. It is super windy. They were predicting like a 17 mile an hour wind. We know that's easily going to be 25 when we get to the bridge, right? Uh, which is where I'm headed. I got some green crabs and some fiddlers and uh, we're just going to try and manage these winds and uh, find some way to get ourselves a toe tog dinner. Stay tuned to see how I do. Hey everybody, this is Ryan with South Jersey Yak Fishing and uh, I'm so glad to have you guys back for another episode. Uh, quick shout out to all of my subscribers, I really appreciate all of you and I hope you've been enjoying the content this season. However, if you have not subscribed to South Jersey Yak Fishing yet and you're enjoying this sort of content, do me a favor, show me your support by hitting those like and subscribe buttons, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so it's extremely windy today and it's definitely going to make things challenging, especially because we have a wind against tide situation, one of my least favorite situations to fish in. Now, in these sorts of situations, my normal method for fishing, the pilings usually doesn't work as the wind coming in from behind me kind of pushes me off the piling. The trick really is, is just figuring out a way to hold each one of the pilings and we're going to find as we move across the bridge that each piling is going to present a slightly different situation uh, as the exposure to the wind and the strength of the tide is going to change from piling to piling. Uh, so we're going to have to try a couple of different methods. Okay, so the first way we're going to try to fish this piling is just by using spot lock. I'm going to do it about five to eight feet from the piling in hopes that it's going to hold me there. However, this is not going to work out so well, only because the wind is gusting so bad, it's going to be kind of pushing me all over the place, and I'm not going to be able to hold consistently enough to feel the fish. Um, so after this first fish that I catch, uh, we're going to try it a little differently. All right, first drop, we've got super windy conditions. Um, it's wind against tide, which makes a really weird situation. I can't butt right up against the pile as I usually do. So I'm trying to use a spot lock. Um, right in front of the pilot. Uh, spot lock doesn't work real good around the bridge and even as I'm sitting here it's moving me away further and further from the piling like I'm like I can't even control where I'm at. Um, one of my batteries wasn't working so I don't have the luxury of the puck and the spot lock jog. Not that that would do me any better. Um, but I'm like five feet from where I want to be right now. I cannot reach that piling so if I have any chance of catching fish I gotta be right up there. So. I don't know, man. It's gonna be a tough day today. <sighs> Looks like a decent fish. Oh yeah. All right. First one of the day, possible keeper. Happens a lot, man. Let's measure this guy up. I don't know that he's a keeper. He's close. Nice size. Of course, I got the damn thing turned around backwards. Always. Keeper. 15 exactly. Do I keep the first fish? Do I continue to fish? I think I'm going to let him go. Bye bye. He kind of let himself go, but. All right, so I was able to figure out that if I get my bow right up against the back side of the piling, that the wind would kind of hold me in place. And just to seal the deal, I have my trolley motor angled to push me in tight to the structure. The only problem with this is that it puts my spinning engine prop in close proximity to my main line. So I do have to be mindful to not get my braid entangled in there as this would become a huge mess. 
Wind is brutal, man. Wind is brutal. Okay, so we're gonna hang out on this piling and catch a couple of fish before ultimately we decide to move. Okay, so they say you shouldn't grab your spool when a fish runs, and it's true, I've lost big fish doing it. However, in this next clip, I'm gonna do it anyways for just like a split second, and it's actually gonna help me stop and land a nice fish. There we go. It's a decent sized fish, man. there is a keeper oh yeah oh yeah 17 19 something like that I almost couldn't control him there's the fish I've been waiting for nice wow big toe top this guy. It's looking like he's a 19 or no, 18 and a quarter. Sweet. I'm keeping this one. All right, there's the dinner. There's my tote dog dinner. Okay, so this fish put up a great fight, and I was particularly happy to see him, mostly because, just as the title indicated, I was not real confident I was going to be going home with a dinner fillet today. Um, with the winds being what they were, I was doubtful I was even going to be able to fish the pilings effective enough to even catch a fish. Uh, but I was pleasantly surprised, and as luck would have it, this is not going to be the only keeper we see today. Wow, that 
that was a really light bite, man. I mean, I just set the hook on a whim because I figured they were going to pick it up right away if they hit. Just aggressive. Right, this is my last crab from yesterday, and then I got a dozen new crabs this morning. And I may switch spots before I use those. I'm not quite sure. I'm not getting any bigger fish anymore. Super aggressive bite, but it's all small. So, uh. Yeah, small fish. All right, I'm going to a different spot here. Okay, so we're gonna make a move here. Um, I am catching a lot of fish one after another, but they're all of the smaller variety, and uh, I just quite simply have more fun catching larger fish. So we're gonna right. check another piling and piling. see if we can't hunt some bigger ones down. The current's a little stronger in this spot. We're about the same depth. And the wind's so bad, I can't even hear myself talking. Fish here. Uh, already, right away. Wow. I mean, I love talking just because of this. I mean, right now I'm not catching the biggest fish, but it's non stop action. It's fun. And it's not like catching like tiny little, tiny little fish, man. These things fight. Light tackle, it's a blast. As many problems as wind can cause, man, I'm making the most out of this situation. They're all small. Go to a different piling. I can't find a bigger one. It's weird, man. You only get like a small window with the bigger ones, and then all the small ones come out. I mean, that might be the end. Okay, so this piling was producing fish. Uh, however, the problem is the way the current was wrapping around that round piling and the direction the wind was blowing was blowing me right out of there and I couldn't really hold my position very well. Small fish. Not easy to fish for small tiny talk man and I'm trying to deal with this fish and this engine is trying to wrap me around this piling
jig in there, man. It is in there. All right, all right, man. So in order to hold this position, I have to push myself into the piling and keep my right foot on the rudder. Otherwise, the second the rudder turns back the other way, I start scoping off the piling and I can't reach the spot where the fish are. So it's a really awkward position to have to fish, but it's working. See, there they are right there. They just clean me off that fast while I'm running my mouth. That's great. I'll go to the other one over there. I'll work my way back and go home. I don't know. So the wind is like borderline ridiculous now. And um, it's hard to hold any piling at this point. It's blowing straight across the canal. And uh, yeah. conditions. Alright, so I just switched to three quarters of an ounce so I'm not sweeping off the piling. Just lost the jig because it got swept out. Um, the current is a little different over here. Um, definitely no more cooperative, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just trying to catch a fish. Also changed the color of my jig and I'm not getting any hits now. Like none. Which is kind of strange. Maybe being swept off the piling a little bit was the key. Let's move her out a little bit. There we go. Man, just a couple of inches made a difference. Isn't that weird? When I was first learning to tug, I heard a couple of people say, drop your bait down to the bottom and don't move. You don't want to spook the fish. If you've been watching South Jersey yak fishing over the past year or so, you know that I'm a firm believer in moving my jig around a lot. In fact, it's what catches me most of my fish. Woo! Not a bad looking fish. If anything, it draws more attention to it. These fish don't really spook, and a couple of inches really can make a huge difference. Still, man. All right, so that was uh, kind of cool. I literally moved my bait probably about six inches away from the piling, and all of a sudden I started getting hits immediately. I mean, that's all it takes. It's all it takes. It's a game of inches sometimes. swept out already because it wasn't right up against the piling I have to drop down right behind the piling and then move it out little by little otherwise I end up way the frig out there just small fish right there
too much work for small fish. I'm gonna work my way back the other way. This piling sucks at fish right now. I definitely can't feel the bite nearly as good with this three quarter ounce. Okay, so I did feel the need earlier to switch to a three quarter ounce jig, uh, which is gonna help me hold bottom a little better, but at the same time, it's harder to feel the bite, which is why the rule of thumb is you always fish with the least amount of weight possible, just enough to hold the piling. Man, you know, with all of these small fish around, it's pretty much time to go, but we're gonna make one last stop at this set of pilings to catch a couple of nice fish before we call it a day. Uh, all right, this one's not small. Wow, nice size fish right there. Solid fish. Fifteen and three quarters. Something had it. I can't feel with the wind, man. Okay, so that was the last fish and I hope you enjoyed this video. Additionally, I hope you learned something from it. If you did, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what it was. Uh, additionally, I'm going to ask that you uh, hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And just keep in mind guys, regardless of the winds, if it's safe, the fish still have to eat so get out there and catch them up. Till next time guys, thanks for watching.